I'm so glad to have you guys here again. And if it's your first time, welcome. Um, today we're gonna go over a set I called the Blue Lagoon. It was very, very simple and it was super easy. And it's literally, you can do it with any color. It doesn't matter at all, as long as you have some type of jelly color or you can make some type of jelly color, okay? So let's get into the video. We're starting off, typically how I start off a lot of my videos, taking off an old set. Um, in this video, we're actually gonna go over a couple of different things. For one, lifting. On this set, I have major lifting. So you'll see me actually take off like almost 95% of the acrylic that is on my nail bed on some of my nails. Um, and then just some is just like a quarter piece or just, just whatever is lifting. And how you know something is lifting and when you look at it and you'll see as we go through the film, um, as you look at it, it'll be like if you did clear, it'll be more gray scaled versus like if you look at one that hasn't lifted or a piece of the nail that isn't lifted you can almost see the nail bed perfectly but if it looks kind of like scarry like kind of like mu not mucky water but like if you put a dab of black in a big gallon of water it'd have like a um like a shadow ish kind of thing going with it so that's kind of what it'll look like and that's how you can identify the parts of your nails that have actually lifted versus the parts of your nails that are like truly really on there and are good to go that you can just fill. So yeah, that's what I'm going over right here. In this piece basically what I did is I took a small nail bit um, and I went to the part where the lifting meets the not lifting part basically go to where that line right above the line of where it's lifting and you just kind of saw down with your file a um, young nails has a fantastic crosscut bit that works perfectly for this um, and you again, you don't want to stay in one part of the nail because you will get like pain. It'll be like a really, really hot sensation and burning sensation underneath your nail, which can lead to you bruising your nail. Just no good, guys. Trust me, no good. personally have a really high hyponychium and that's just the skin that is attached to your nail that grows on the back so um, either after soaking or after the shower is the best time to push that skin down um, but for me I just typically use one of the same nail bit that I was using uh, to clean my cuticles and it kind of files it down and makes it fine or completely removes it if it's like really white then I mean it's removed from my actual nail and I can take it off And also, while you, I would recommend if you are trying to learn how to work with acrylics, learning how to work with nails in general, film yourself, not to necessarily post on YouTube, but film yourself so you can see your mistakes. Like I noticed in this video, I am using the nail bit almost at like a 90 degree angle. That is a no-no. You want to be using your nail bit parallel to your nail no matter what the nail bit is no matter what you're trying to do no matter what it's for it should always be parallel to your nail and not adjacent to your nail i hope that makes sense
So you go through your usual prep process, push back your cuticle, um, remove any cute, push back your epinicium, remove any dead skin that's around the nail if you want to, not everybody removes it, that's up to you. Um, and this set, so the original set was acrylic, but I went over it and I filled it with gel. You can fill acrylic with gel, you can fill gel with acrylic, it does not matter at all. Um, the prep process is exactly the same. I think I only showed you guys maybe one or two of the nails that I did for this, for the gel. I'll maybe go down the line, make a more in-depth gel, you know, one. Um, but for the finger that you see me build out on its own, mainly what you're going to do is I put a, what is called a slip layer. So it's basically you take a little bit of gel on your brush and put it down everywhere that you're going to make the nail essentially. And then you come back with a bigger glob of the gel and you kind of float it like literally bouncing it not hard pressing it's not like polish you're like literally just gently pushing it and guiding it to where you want it to be So to make the design part of these nails, after I was done, um, I did kind of go over them to, to make sure that they're kind of scratchy because gel adheres better to a scratchy nail over a smooth nail. Um, so after, the, after doing that part, I took a striper brush and kind of made random lines on uh, the nails and then took a cleaning brush that I have and just took some acetone and kind of dabbed randomly on th throughout the nails to make random lines. That's all you wanna do. So after making those random lines, I cure that for maybe 20, 30 seconds because it doesn't need a full cure. It's so light, there's so little of it, it's not a full nail. And then I went over it with a jelly polish. It was actually my McCart uh, jelly polish. Uh, and actually, it was this one here. It is their Crystal Sky Blue. So I went over it with the Crystal Sky Blue twice. I did it the first time and in person I didn't like I didn't like it. It just wasn't dark enough. It wasn't giving me the depth that I wanted. Um, so I went over it a second time and then after going through it both those two times, I went through again with that striper brush and kind of redid my marbling. So redid with my random white lines, redid with the acetone, and that's what gave you this look. You marble at the beginning, you marble at the end, and it's pretty much the same thing and it actually looks like real marble, at least in my opinion. I love the way this set came out. And that's why I call it the Blue Lagoon. It looks like an ocean, like when the waves are crashing and beautiful blue waters. That's exactly what this looked like to me. And that's why my makeup's like, oh, you know, focus on the ocean and the waters and stuff. <laughs> is our video today guys a really short and sweet one let me know if you have any questions please give me any comments constructive criticism i'm here to take it and listen to it every day is a learning experience when it comes to doing nails which is the, the thing that i learned you could be in this game 20 30 years things are constantly changing and new things are constantly being made so you can never stop learning you can never stop educating yourself Yes, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you, if you're not already subscribed, totally subscribe to me. If you are already subscribed, make sure you hit your notification bell so you get notified when I am posting this badass content. You feel me? <laughs> you guys have a great rest of your day, night, or evening, whatever the hell it is when you are watching me. Thank you. Bye.